In this video, I will cover how to optimize your Azure Machine Learning Compute to reach your model's performance goals on the Microsoft for Startups GPU cluster. Okay, so data loading at this point is dialed. How can we now address compute bottlenecks behind GPU underutilization? The two big compute challenges with large-scale machine learning training are limited GPU memory capacity and the massive numbers of compute operations. Ideally, your optimization function here is as the number of VMs training a given model increases, the time to train that model should decrease linearly and your model performance should improve. The Onyx and DeepSpeed libraries are available in the Azure PyTorch environment as part of the software stack pictured on the slide that will speed up your training time to help you get more out of your GPU cluster reservation. The Onyx training runtime accelerates your model training by optimizing computation graphs, reducing memory copies, and using mixed precision. It allows for better, better memory utilization, enabling the training of larger models that might not fit into GPU memory otherwise. There are dedicated ORT classes for Hugging Face to get started with open source models quickly. As an added benefit, this runtime expands your deployment options to mobile and edge compute targets as well. DeepSpeed is another open source library developed by Microsoft that reduces GPU memory requirements and the time needed for training large models up to trillions of parameters on distributed GPU clusters. DeepSpeed enables model and pipeline parallelism by using a zero redundancy optimizer to partition models, uh, model states, so weights, gradients, optimizer states, across GPUs to significantly reduce GPU memory usage. It also significantly improves compute efficiency to speed up training two to seven, seven X by scaling data parallelism through optimizing intra and uh, inner communication bandwidth nearly linearly across arbitrary numbers of GPUs. As a best practice in your training script, Apply ORT optimizations first, and then DeepSpeed after if using both. Both Onyx and DeepSpeed are popular choices with startups on the Microsoft for Startups GPU cluster for accessible extreme scale model training with direct support in Azure Machine Learning. Startups have also successfully used alternatives to DeepSpeed, such as PyTorch Lightning, Horovord, Fairscale and Megatron LM to make the most of their GPU cluster reservation. Your goal to maintain high uh, is to maintain high GPU utilization to complete your jobs performantly as quickly as possible. Just like with troubleshooting storage, your debugging path starts with first identifying the compute bottleneck. In the Azure portal, navigate to your Azure Machine Learning Workspace and select the Metrics tab. You can monitor and alert on key compute metrics such as GPU utilization, memory utilization, and disk I.O. Consider tuning your batch size to find the optimal size that maximizes GPU utilization without causing memory overflow that might manifest as CUDA out of memory errors. At job initialization, you can also set up interactive debugging applications such as TensorBoard with plugins for PyTorch and TensorFlow profilers, which give greater granular detail per model layer and compute operation. This gives you a basis to further optimize your model architecture through techniques like mixed precision, LoRa, and pruning unnecessary model layers to reduce its memory footprint and computation. The last Azure ML compute tip is focused on the compute nodes themselves. During long running training jobs, particularly large scale distributed GPU jobs, the risk of hardware and network issues is higher, which can cause problems that may affect the training in unexpected ways. If you're seeing node failures or high rates of job retries, consider running node health checks. On the slide is a link to a node health check command job that will check for unhealthy nodes in the Azure ML compute cluster and, op and optionally remove them from the cluster with an environment variable. I will demo running these node health checks in a later video. By removing problematic nodes and, avoid and avoiding scaling your compute cluster down, you can improve your job's resiliency to backend infrastructure issues 
and complete your job to maximize your model's performance. If you need additional help troubleshooting, please reach out to your account team and or Azure support throughout your GPU cluster reservation. To conclude, in this video, we covered recommendations and troubleshooting tips to optimize your Azure ML compute to maximize your GPU cluster reservation time. In the next video, we will cover Microsoft for Startup's GPU cluster offboarding steps and next steps with Azure.